Because people have been asking about this a lot. A lot, a lot people have been asking. So I will explain Renown and why, in fact, you should care about it. And it is a massive trap in Diablo 4. So how does Renown work? People always mention the thing about how your rewards transfer to your next character. So these things, plus one skill point, plus one capa potion capacity, plus one skill point, how these things are account wide. And once you've accomplished uh, whatever goal you set out for yourself, you know, maybe you wanted the extra skill point, you don't care about these things, you will keep that forever. However, there is a big problem because Renown resets. What does that mean? It means multiple things for the player who wants to progress and especially for somebody who is on hardcore. So, as you can see, my Renown is incredibly low here because I never really have to do these zones. But my rewards are in fact claimed. This is because I did this on another character, but my, re my Renown is still incredibly low here. Yeah. Now, imagine a scenario in which my Renown is only 1300 and prior to getting to 2000, which will allow me to claim these rewards, my character dies, I decide to reroll or whatever. At that point, I will be playing a new character, which will start with zero re re Renown, which means that I will have access to these rewards. But to obtain these ones, I will have to redo the entire thing from zero which is pretty ridiculous when you're trying to claim that the rewards are global for everybody uh and that has actually in fact happened to my friend who had 2000 reward renown and uh it didn't transfer and the reason why it didn't transfer is because even if you have 2000 renown but you have not claimed it by going to tier three you, let's say you don't have access, like me, on this character to tier 3 difficulty because I haven't done the capstone dungeon. This will still not allow you to be able to claim these rewards. So, right now, if I don't go to tier 3 and I die on this necromancer or I decide to reroll or whatever, this renown will be completely useless and I will have to go and, and finish it or redo it from the very get-go. So... There's a lot of confusion about that. I hope that clears it up. When it comes to everything else, it is global. So don't uh, fuss over it. For instance, if you were to uh, play on a new character and you have zero renown from your Altars of Lilith, let's say like in this case, you still get the benefits of the Altars if you pick them up on another character. Yeah? You just don't get the renown. But the reward is global so another example i guess that i could show would be how even though i've gathered 2000 renown on this character these rewards are not available because if you see i've gathered 2000 renown on another character and these rewards are available to me even though i haven't claimed them by going to tier 3 and then if i were to go on my druid which was the character that claimed uh, the renown for the other areas it will show that everything is claimed uh, once I'm there and even then and this is the most depressing part about the system again about the claiming the claiming being the crucial factor here uh, if I were to go here and I would go to Kegistan which is the area that I just showed you guys I have 2000 renown on my necromancer these rewards, despite having 2,000 renown, are not available and I cannot claim them despite being eligible, being in tier 3 and having 2,000 renown on my other character because my other character has not made it to tier 3 and claimed them. So be super cautious about this because I keep getting questions. Where did my renown go? Do I have to start from the beginning? This Is everything reset and gone? Uh, the answer is yes. It's reset and gone. If you, if you had 2,000 renown and you die like my best friend Pack HC, and you haven't claimed it, it will not be available in your account and you will have to re-obtain the 2,000 renown again to have it be available and claim it on tier 3 for it to be on your entire account. 
keep that in mind uh, stay cautious of it but once you have it you'll have it forever on all of your characters as long as you claim it oh yeah and another big factor is keep in mind that you lose all of this next league although that might change you know, because um, there has been some talk about maybe Altars of Lilith sticking around. I don't think any of these things will stick around. They might shamble them and move them around. I don't think any of these decisions are final. This is uh, an early access situation, right? The game hasn't even come out. It's coming out tomorrow. So we don't 100% know how it's going to end up for the actual season. But uh, as far as we know, as of right now... Everything is fully resetting, and if you are going from when the game is launching to the first season, keep in mind that that's only a month away. There's only a month distance. So you might want to not be as stupid as I am and uh, go through the effort of getting 2,000 Renown in every area to be able to do the, the big claimant, because it is pretty time-consuming, and quite frankly, it's not that rewarding past this point. So getting this skill point on all of your juice is pretty valuable. Getting the Altars of Lilith is pretty valuable. The Paragon points are absolutely valuable, but, uh, you know, that's like more of an endgame thing because you tend to ramp up in Paragon levels pretty quickly all the way until like level 70 when it seems to really, really slow down. Good luck, gamers.